House of Wax, originally titled Wax House, Baby, is a 2005 American-Australian horror thriller film directed by John Collett Sarah and stars Alicia Cuthbert, Chad Michael Murray, Brian Van Holt, Paris Hilton and Jared Padalecki. It is a loose remake of the 1953 film of the same name, itself a remake of the 1933 movie Mystery of the Wax Museum. The film premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival and was released in U.S. theaters on May 6, 2005. It grossed $70 million worldwide and has a 25% approval rating at Rotten Tomatoes. Plot In 1974, a woman makes a wax mask as one of her sons eats breakfast. Her husband enters with another son. After being strapped and taped into his chair, he scratches his mother's hand. Then she slaps the child across the face. In 2005, Carly Jones, her twin brother Nick, her boyfriend Wade, her best friend Paige, Paige's boyfriend Blake, and Nick's friend Alton are on their way to a football game in Louisiana. When night falls, the group sets up camp. A stranger in a pickup truck visits their campsite, shines his lights, and refuses to leave or address them until Nick smashes one of his headlights. The next morning, Wade discovers that his fan belt is broken. Carly and Paige wander into the woods, and Carly falls down a hill, into a pit filled with animal carcasses. After rescuing her, the group meets a strange, rural man named Lester, who offers to drive Carly and Wade to the nearby town of Ambrose to get a new fan belt while the rest of them go to the football game. The two arrive at Ambrose, which is virtually a ghost town. Unable to find an attendant at the gas station, they wander into the church, disrupting a funeral. There, they meet a mechanic named Bo, who offers to sell them a fan belt after the funeral. While waiting for the services to end, Carly and Wade visit the Wax Museum which itself is made of wax and is the central feature of the town. The gas station does not have the right size fan belt, so they follow Bo to his house. Wade is knocked out by Bo's twin brother, Vincent. Outside, Carly realizes Bo is the one who visited them the night before. After noticing his car's broken headlight, she runs to the church for help, but finds that it is populated only by wax sculptures. Bo captures Carly and brings her to the cellar of the gas station, where she is restrained. Meanwhile, Wade is stripped naked and strapped to a chair to be covered in wax. Nick, Dalton, Paige, and Blake realize they will not arrive at the game in time and turn around. Nick and Dalton arrive in Ambrose to find Carly and Wade. Nick visits the gas station, where he questions Bo about Carly's whereabouts. When she tries to gain Nick's attention, Bo cuts off the tip of Carly's finger, but she uses the blood from her finger to open her glued lips apart and screams for help. Nick fends off Bo and frees Carly. Meanwhile, Dalton finds Wade, who is still alive but unable to move due to the wax. Attempting to peel off the wax, Dalton realizes that he is unintentionally removing Wade's skin in the process. Vincent finds Dalton and slashes Wade's face with a machete, killing him. After a chase through the museum, Vincent catches Dalton and decapitates him. Meanwhile, Nick and Carly realize that all of the town's inhabitants are real people covered in wax. Bo and Vincent have been luring people in and covering them in wax to make the figures look more realistic. At the campsite, Vincent kills Blake and chases Paige to a sugar mill. Where he kills her, Nick and Carly return to the house to find Wade and Dalton. When Bo and Vincent return, they chase Carly and Nick to the house of wax. It is revealed that Bo is the evil twin and Vincent is the good twin. Since their parents died, Bo has been controlling the more mild-mannered Vincent through physical and verbal abuse. After a chase scene, Carly beats Bo to death with a baseball bat. Nick unintentionally sets the house of wax on fire, and the wax figures start to melt, as does the whole house. An enraged Vincent chases Carly to the top floor, 
but Nick attacks him letting Carlita stab him. His body falls through the floor, and he lands on top of his brother's corpse. Carly and Nick escape the house of wax as it melts to the ground. The next day, the police arrive and report that Ambrose has been abandoned for 10 years when the local sugar mill failed. As Nick and Carly are taken to a hospital, the policeman reveals Mr. and Mrs. Sinclair had a third son. From inside the ambulance, Carly sees Lester, the third brother, who smiles and waves goodbye. Cast Production The film was originally titled Wax House. Baby Before Warner Brothers realized they had permission to use the title House of Wax. Lawsuit In January 2006, Village Road Joe Studios owners Village Theme Park Management and Warner Brothers Movie World Australia announced they were suing special effects expert David Fletcher and Wax Productions because of a fire on the set during production. The $7 million lawsuit alleges that Mr. Fletcher and Wax Productions were grossly negligent over the fire, which destroyed part of the Gold Coast's Warner Brothers. Movie World Studios, the alleged grounds of negligence include not having firefighters on standby and using timber props near a naked flame. The set where the fire broke out has now been demolished and is a field kept for Movie World for future projects. Release Opening in 3, 111 theaters, the film grossed $12 million in its opening weekend. House of Wax earned $70 million worldwide. The film premiered at several festivals, including Toronto International Film Festival, New York Film Critics Circle, Tribeca Film Festival, Los Angeles Brazilian Film Festival, BFI London Film Festival, among others. Reception Rotten Tomatoes reports that 25% of 151 surveyed critics gave the film a positive review. The average rating is 4. 3 tenths. The site's consensus reads, bearing little resemblance to the 1953 original, House of Wax is a formulaic but better than average teen slasher flick. Quote, Chicago Sun-Times film critic Roger Ebert gave the film 2 out of 4 stars and wrote, House of Wax is not a good movie, but it is an efficient one and will deliver most of what anyone attending House of Wax could reasonably expect, assuming it would be unreasonable to expect very much. Quote, he said of Hilton's performance that she is no better or worse than the typical dead post-teenager and does exactly what she is required to do in a movie like this, with all the skill, admittedly finite, that is required. Quote, Awards and Nominations Soundtrack House of Wax Music from the Motion Picture is the title of a publicly released soundtrack used for House of Wax, consisting of commercially recorded songs. There is a song appearing in the film which is not integrated in the soundtrack. It is Roland by Interpol, and appears in the scene when the group decides to camp over the night at the beginning of the film. The song that plays during the end credits is, Helena, by My Chemical Romance.